Good Monday evening, y'all. It's uh what Thanksgiving? Um, Thanksgiving. I'm I'm way 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 behind. It is Christmas Eve Eve. It's Monday night, and I'm gonna start making my meat sauce or my lasagna. So come on in. Uh, I'm gonna make a big big pot of um lasagna meat sauce because that is gonna be the mainstay. For our Christmas dinner, we're going to have lasagna. Then tomorrow, I'll make a big pot of gumbo. I don't know what the size is going to be, but the main thing and the stuff that causes the work, we're going to get those out of the way between today and tomorrow. So, our Christmas day, we'll be ready to eat and we'll have some um, nice desserts and whatnot. So, what I want to start out with, you all know I use turkey meat to make my... Uh, spaghetti and, and meat sauce like that so of course i put sausage in my lasagna so i'm going to use some uh butterball turkey sausage i'm going to go ahead and saute them up here get them in the pan this is one pound now this is going to be a huge pot of, of meat sauce so this is a uh, one pound of um butterball italian sausage i found italian sausage so they got the good flavor and I'm, you know, I'm going to hit them up a little bit more and put a little bit more uh, Italian seasoning. This is just uh, about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Well, actually, that's bay leaf, so that's okay. I'm going to put that on there, too. Uh, go ahead and saute them up in the pan. I got my other big, big sauce pot over there heating up because I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my uh, ground beef. And what I'm going to do, tonight is Monday night. I'm going to go ahead and make my sauce tonight, and I'll put the actual, I'm going to make two pans of lasagna. I'll put those together tomorrow. So, in my other pan over here, I'm going to use, I'm going to use three and a half pounds of ground turkey. So, I'm going to get it going over here. And, oh, by the way, I did put um, a quarter of a cup of, of um, olive oil in my big pot. And then, of course, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in my sausage sauce. So, it's kind of hot to me. <clears throat> so, I've got everything going at one time. All my meat going at one time. So, this will be the meat for the lasagna. I don't know why I came up with lasagna. I guess because uh, we always cook, you know, the traditional turkey and ham and, and chicken and all that. I thought, we're going to do a little bit different this time. We're going to try some lasagna and um, my gumbo. Now, you know, of course, I'll cook some rice to go with that gumbo. Um, and, you know, we'll probably do, like, green beans or something like that. Of course, you know, we have to have some side dishes, so we shall see. Hope y'all are having a God blessed Monday evening. Uh, I did Sunday dinner. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what I what happened to my video for that. If I can find it in my camera, something went wrong with it. I don't know what, but it did not do right. So, at this point, I don't have my Sunday dinner. So, for those of you who watch my channel and Tanya's channel, you see what I cooked. Um, we had a several light dinner. I already had that big old pan of um, shepherd's pie in the freezer that Barb had made for me back in at the end of October and I fried did some pan fried chicken I can't remember what else we had a good dinner and I've started out video and I just cannot tell you what happened to it so anywho um parts of it was in there and the other part wasn't because I had they had it recorded in two different parts so I'm still gonna look for it. Those sauces are coming along just fine. I like the uh, sauce Italian sausage in my uh, lasagna. It just makes it just, just real hearty. I like a real hearty, meaty, cheesy lasagna. I'm just going to chop these sausage up a little bit. And same thing with my ground turkey. Now, of course, I'm going to be putting peppers and onions uh, into my dish so I'm, as soon as this um, meat gets to a certain point I'm going to go ahead and add in about two cups of uh, about, I went ahead uh, with my um, 
KitchenAid, my nice KitchenAid chopper. It works so well and so fast. I cut up three large onions and two large green peppers and four um, stalks of celery. Now this is going to be for my lasagna and for my um, gumbo because I do I use the same uh, veggies in both dishes. So each one will have two cups each. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my what I like to do is like saute my veggies first and then okay, about half and half. So this is about two and a half, maybe even three cups. I like lots of veggies in my dishes like this. So the Italian sausage are ready and my ground wheat. Let me see if I can put it over here so you can see it in the pot. It should be ready soon. This I've got it in a big, big pot tonight, y'all. Because I anticipate this is going to be a big, big pot. Um, like I said, this is let's see, two and a half. And one, this is three and a half pounds. Four and a half pounds of meat in this lasagna. That includes the ground meat and the sausage. So, I'm get back over there and then I've added up all of my um, sauces I'm putting a 51 just listen to this now because some of y'all will come back and ask me for the recipe and I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to you because rarely do I put all these ingredients at the end of the video because it's just a lot to put you know to type into the instructions so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tell you what I'm putting in there and I'll go slow I taste a little piece of Italian sausage. Those are pretty good. Butterball makes pretty good product. Okay. I have three and a half pounds of ground turkey. One pound of turkey Italian sausage. Now, if you want to use regular ground beef, you use the same amount, just, you know, different product. Okay. Because when, when you get that sauce right, you wouldn't be able to tell whether it's ground beef or ground turkey. And to me, the ground turkey is more flavorful. Okay, so three and a half pounds of ground turkey, one pound of sliced and sauteed Italian turkey sausage. Now, here we go with the sauces. And I'm going to be ready to put them in. They'll be ready. Yep, my almost ready if I can get the camera over a little bit I'll let you watch the pot yeah we can do that just have to put it on a smaller burner okay turn that one off okay get everything ready to go in yeah the ground turkey needs to cook a little bit more okay so while it's cooking I'm gonna go ahead and start adding ingredients so, this is uh, sweet basil. I buy the big old tubs of it because, you know, why not? They're so inexpensive and when you need it, you need it. And you don't need to fool with those little ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a tablespoon of ground basil in there. Then I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of Italian. This is that Tom's Italian... Um, seasoning it is very good it has every italian herb that you would need to make an italian dish in i'm just putting the extra basil so i'm gonna put two tablespoons of that in there okay so that's two tablespoons of that one and i've got my garlic i really should have bought, bought some garlic fresh garlic but i didn't i'm gonna use garlic powder okay that was one Tablespoon. I always love lots of garlic in mine. Open this new one here. I'm going to put two tablespoons of garlic powder in there. So that's two. Okay. And I'm going to pour in about three tablespoons of uh, complete seasoning. One. Two. And a three. 
then I've got some oregano. Some extra oregano. Put a tablespoon of oregano in there. And get all that. In oh, let me do my black pepper. Don't let me forget my black pepper. Tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, now I'm going to get all this mixed in. And when all that gets mixed in a little bit, I'll start putting my tomato sauce in. And uh, we'll get it cooked down. Oh, y'all, that smells so wonderful. Ooh. And then I will know if I need to put um, any more seasoning. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my sausage. Remember, I already had seasoning in that. Put seasoning in my sausage. So this makes for a nice... Let me see if I can get that camera over in there. Oh, there it goes. It's pretty good. Okay. Mmm. Yum. I'm glad I did change pots on that. Because I'm here to tell you. Let's, let's see if we can get it. I don't know. My, um... There it goes. Okay. So this pot is about halfway full, y'all. And I mean to tell you, whew, this is going to be some kind of good lasagna. And I'm deviating a little bit from what I did the last time. It seems like every time I make this dish, I make it a little bit different. Mm. You know them. Wow. Okay. So let's go with the, um, I know I'm going to have to add a little bit more salt. There goes that phone call. Oh, one sec. Okay, y'all got the meat going. Now it's time to add the sauce. Now I added up all these cans that I'm putting in here. I'm going to have uh, 80 ounces of sauce in here. I'm going to use a pasta sauce by Hunt. It is a, okay. This is a 24 ounce can of Hunt's spaghetti sauce mix. I am going to pour a 15, let me see, yeah, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. This is a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to pour another can of, um, 15 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. So one stewed, one diced. Okay. Got all that going on in there. And then I'm going to come in with my tomato paste. And all these, by the way, are, are Food Line brand. Y'all know I'm Food Line girl. Mm -hmm. So these are just six. I'm going to put two six ounce cans of Food Line tomato paste. Let's go ahead and give that a little stir. And this is going to cook for about a good hour or so. Because you know when you put it in the oven it's going to cook some more. So we'll have a good cook on this. So we're going to that'll be on just to cook real, 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 real slow. Okay. Whew, smells good, y'all. Smells really good. Come on out of there. You know, tomato paste is so thick. I love it. Okay. I may have to add a little more. I don't know. Yum, yum, yummy, y'all. That tomato sauce. That good old pasta sauce. And, of course, y'all know I got to get my brown sugar going in here, so. About a half a cup of brown sugar is going to go in there. That's
Okay, I think I can just about empty out. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat down because I don't want anything to stick because I want this to cook for about a good hour and a half. Let's, let's start out with a, uh, a good, a peggy half cup of uh, brown sugar. We're going to taste of it and make sure whether I need more or not because this is more the uh, sauce than I usually make. I usually don't make this much sauce, but since I'm making two pans, I don't know if I ever make lasagna for Christmas or not. I need that other little tablespoon of uh, brown sugar in there. There it is. And I'm also going to have, I, I tasted of it. I want to need some more tomato sauce going on in here. So, in addition to what I've already put, because this is a lot of meat sauce, y'all. And you notice I'm not adding any water. No water. No water. So, we're just going to let this cook. And I want to put another 15 ounce can of um, tomato sauce or tomato paste in there. Hold on one sec, let me go find it. Okay, y'all, there it is. The meat sauce is cooking nicely. I did add one more can of um, tomato paste in there. One more six ounce can, so a can of tomato paste and another teaspoon of um, complete seasoning and another teaspoon of um, my Italian seasoning. It just needed that, y'all. Um, oh, one of my little secret weapons I'll let you in on. If you have a jar of olives, now for this big old pan, I put about a fourth of a cup. Just pour you just a little bit of olive, out of the olive jar, just pour a little bit of that juice in there and it'll bump it up another notch when you're making your spaghetti sauce, lasagna sauce, or whatever. But look, of course, this is made with all turkey products. So... Uh, I'm going to let this cook for the next couple of hours. And when you see it again, I'll be putting that lasagna together tomorrow. So I got my noodles over there to the side. They just wait. So, anywho, I'm going to let this cook. And I'm going to get in the bed here shortly. And I'm going to come back and complete this dinner tomorrow. Uh, I'll be making my gumbo tomorrow. And I'm not sure. Uh, I might do some lemon chicken or something like that. I'll, I'll do a third thing. Because, like I said, we're not doing a whole lot. Just a lot of what I'm doing. And we'll have a couple of desserts. So, until I get back in here tomorrow, y'all just hang tight. And we'll pick up uh, on part two of this lasagna. Good Christmas Eve evening, everybody. I hope y'all having a God-blessed day. I've been on a run today, finishing up, finally finished up all my gift shopping. I got to get them wrapped, so I got to get them wrapped. But I'm back in the kitchen because uh, I did my um, meat sauce last night, and tonight I'm going to be putting this lasagna together. So what I'm going to do, I've got uh, a Mexican blend of cheese. I just like a lot of different cheeses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix all of my cheese together. So this is like an eight ounce bag of cheese I got a pound of cheese. and all I'm gonna be using three pounds of cheese in this lasagna so that way <clears throat> I know I have plenty of cheese because remember I'm doing a double batch of lasagna so I'm gonna be doing two pans uh, and if I have some left over y'all know lasagna freezes well so I got all this cheese uh, putting it all together here I'm gonna let y'all just see it and as soon as I get it mixed all together, I'm just going to get my hands in there and get it all mixed up. So I've got um, five different cheeses in there. Because that one little, that white cheese is about four or five different ones. It's Asiago, mozzarella, and uh, white cheddar. And the orange cheese, of course, is sharp cheddar. And I'm just going to mix it, just get it mixed all up together here. And then I'm going to start uh, putting everything together. Hope you all have gotten all your shopping done and got all the gifts purchased that you wanted to purchase. I'm telling you the truth. When you do that impromptu shopping, you'll spend some money. 
I can't tell you how many times I've been to that grocery store. I even went on a base today. I dared to go out to the commissary. And it wasn't really crowded. I was uh, thankful for that. And uh, Tanya was telling me it wasn't downtown. I needed to buy, let's see. I think I had four or five more gifts to purchase. And I didn't dare go down to our mall or downtown. I just knew it was going to be overcrowded. So I went on to the commissary. And... Uh, Went on base to the BX, and I purchased pretty much what I needed to. Uh, next year, honey, it's going to be, a, like my mommy says, it's going to be a horse of another color. But anywho, everybody's going to be happy. Everybody will have a gift under the tree. And most importantly of all, if we live to see tomorrow, God would have spared us one more day. So, okay, I got that cheese pretty well mixed in. Now, the other cheese I'm going to put in is some... Uh, <clears throat> I've got some Parmesan. I should have put it in while I was mixing that, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it now. This is a Parmesan and Romano cheese. Um, I just like it. Love, I, don't, I love it. It's, it's that stinky cheese. I love, 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 love it. I've got my sauce done, and it is wonderful. I'm, this is, uh, let's see. An eight ounce. I'm gonna put four ounces in here because we need a little bit. You know, you like to sprinkle your lasagna with some extra cheese, so we're gonna leave half of that. But I got this much into the cheese itself. So, honey, this much cheese. This is like a whole pan of cheese. So y'all know what's up there. I know I have uh, some meat sauce left over. I'm sure. And if I have cheese left over, bag it, put it in the refrigerator, and use it for another time. But for the time being, um, well, we're going to use that. So this is all together. This is one, two, three. Yeah, it's exactly four pounds of cheese. Okay. No, it's not four pounds. It's eight, maybe 16. That's one. And then I got uh, one, two. It's only three pounds of cheese. That's a lot of cheese for three pounds. Anywho, that's what it says. Okay. Now, I've got a 32-ounce container of ricotta. Again, I'm going to use all of this because I'm making a double recipe. So what I have to do next is go ahead and mix all my ingredients in for my, um, I, you know what? Now is when I can use that big old kitchen that my girlfriend Barb is always talking about. She always says, Peggy, if I was able to I build you a big kitchen with all that cooking that you do and I always say to her, look girl I don't need a bigger kitchen because if I had a bigger kitchen I'd be doing bigger cooking I don't need no more cooking than I'm already doing so we, we got that little running joke going so I'm gonna go ahead and empty this ricotta cheese in there and there it goes okay. Get it. so you're gonna mix the ricotta cheese and the eggs together And you know what else? I'm going to show y'all a little trick I'm going to use. Because y'all know I'm always doing something different uh, with my um, recipes. So in this one, we're going to put some uh, garlic butter in. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. Let me go ahead and uh, the regular recipe calls for one egg. Double. I'm going to put two. And if you want to do this recipe, just cut it in half. It's just that simple. And if you have leftovers from it not to worry because it freezes well. Okay. So we just mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. Mix your ricotta cheese together. Really, really, really good. Like so. You hold on one sec for me. I'm back, y'all. Okay, what I did here, I melted a stick and a half of butter, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of complete seasoning, a teaspoon of uh, minced onion, and uh, half a uh, teaspoon of salt. I just mixed it all together, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it right into 
that mixture there. I know y'all people who, who uh, do this all the time, y'all probably saying, ew, but this is just going to give extra added flavor and moisture, and it's just going to, it's just going to take it up to another level, y'all. We want this, because I'm going to, this is going to be a three layer, and it's, I don't want it all dried out, so I thought to myself, I'm going to put me some butter, I'm going to make some garlic butter. Yum, yum. That's just extra added flavor to go in there. Wow. Knock my socks off. Okay, so you know how you do that. You gotta, um, let me get it over here out of the way. So that's mixed and ready to go. So now I need to start to get, get my pan. If you're gonna use the foil pans, double your pans because this will get heavy, y'all. It'll get real heavy. So, what I'm gonna do, oh, and I add, um, a little bit of salt, about a half a, a teaspoon of salt to that mixture also. Go ahead and add it right now while I'm thinking of it. Half a teaspoon. Mm. Okay. Stir, 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 stir. Okay. All righty. Now. Perfecto. Now, what I'm going to do next, I keep forgetting stuff. I didn't put my Parmesan. You have to put some Parmesan and cheese in that mixture. So, I'm not going to put too much. About a fourth of a cup in there is fine. Sorry about that, y'all. So, to this mixture here, I went ahead and added a half teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a cup of uh, that Romano cheese. Okay? This gives it that extra flavor. This is something I made up, y'all. I don't know who is nobody's recipe that I know of. I just made that up because I want that extra flavor and that moisture. Mm, yum, yum. That pump it right where I need it to be. Okay, so let's get this lasagna put together, get it in the oven, bake it, cool it down, refrigerate it, and wait on it to use it tomorrow. Now, in the bottom of the pan, uh, <clears throat> you're going to start with, uh, of course, your sauce. Let's see. Let's get let's get this Nestle's out of the way. I got so much stuff in this kitchen. I went in the commissary and I always buy stuff because they always got stuff sitting around on sale. Y'all know that if you ever been to commissary. Okay, so how we start this out? I've already uh, mixed my noodles, so we're just gonna get some um, sauce right in the bottom of this pan. And then what I'm gonna do is put. Uh, <coughs> some noodles on right on top of this sauce okay we we'll start we start with sauce a noodle some cheese well you got to spread your okay get it make sure you spread it out really really good okay okay well, like so all right now you just go ahead and start with your noodles. Now the noodles, I boil them according to the box. You just do what the box says. The box told me to boil them eight to ten minutes and then cool them down. And that's exactly what I did. So they're boiled according to it. And you know, you can buy, and I just found, I forgot, I knew it, but I forgot about it. You can buy uh, noodles that you don't have to boil first. They're, they're called oven ready. Now, I've never used them, so I thought, now I'm not going to start trying to experiment with them today. Just today just was not a good day for experimenting, so I did not. Um, let's get us another, <clears throat> let me just get me another spoon here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and spread on some of my ricotta cheese mix, okay? It's so much easier to spread, because you know that ricotta cheese, for some odd bar reason, when you're spreading it, without putting the um, other stuff in it's just hard to spread to me it's just hard to spread I mean that's just me <clears throat> plus like y'all know me I'm, I'm gonna put all the flavor in here that I can possibly squeeze in so just get you a uh, let's see, one. yeah I'm gonna need a lot of this um, just seem like I always feel like I get cheated on this deal Okay, now the cheese, we're really going to just layer that cheese on there. 
really want to leave. We got tons of cheese, so we don't have to worry about skimping on the cheese. So we're we'll, we'll put a ton of cheese in there. Okay. So we're going to do just as if it was at the bottom of the pan. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to go in with more meat sauce. We're going to have a meat switch, y'all, when we get through with this dish. We're going to put, we got plenty of it. We're not scrimping or stitching on it. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to get three layers in here. Ruck roll. Okay. We might not get but two layers. It's filling up, y'all. It's filling up. Maybe this pan wasn't deep enough. Seems like to me, I remember it. Let me go ahead and spread that. That's gonna be some good eating. You hear me? And I'm gonna do. We're gonna. We're not doing garlic bread. Bread. I've, I've got crescent rolls. What I'm gonna do with those crescent rolls? Y'all know I'm gonna dock them up with garlic and butter, honey. When they're gonna, you know, crescent rolls just about. You can just slurp them up anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. But you know what? I'm thinking of. I do have a pan that you have to put three or four layers because you know why? It's a deep, deep pan. Now this pan isn't quite that deep. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay. That one kind of went tear a little bit, didn't it? I don't know if I'm going to get that third row in there. So what do y'all think about this weather? Our weather today, it was like short sleeve weather. I'm serious. It was nice and warm today. Not, I mean, to tell you it was nice and warm today. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to curl the top of these. These pans are going to be loaded. I wish they did make these pans a little bit deeper, y'all. Now, it would be a little bit deeper for me. So spread, spread, spread. Okay. Time for the cheese again, y'all. And you know, we're going to bake this about 45 minutes. It doesn't take that long. We don't want to bake it too, too long because we don't want to dry it out. Okay, y'all. Here I come with more meat sauce. gonna be filled up to the top y'all to the top we want it to be a nice deep dish nice deep dish and I think I'm gonna have some sauce left over because um ooh we yeah it's gonna be filled right up to the top And it is meaty, all that good sausages in there. Um, that turkey sausage. I am so excited that I found the good butterball turkey sausage. I had never seen that particular kind. I saw the other kind that sort of looked a little bit different. It um, have a had a different texture. And I can't even say that I ever had um, the butterball brand turkey sausage. I just can't say it because I just don't remember ever having it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, y'all, how I showed y'all when we do uh, other stuff and use these pans and they get full. 
Just take and turn the sides of them up. We might have to turn the side up all the way around on this one. But we don't want it to bubble over in the oven. I just clean my oven. Well, it's a self cleaner. So, okay, here we go. I'm just as brave and bold as I can be because, honey, we're going to get that third layer on there. I want it loaded. So, go ahead. Here we go. And we're going to end this, of course, with the cheese. <clears throat> I got it on now. How's that? How you like them apples? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to slather. Got to have enough. Ooh, I think I got heavy handed on that. You know what, it just felt like that 32 ounces should have been more. So I'm, I'm skimping now. I don't like to skimp. Okay. Spread that. I'm glad now that I did put that uh, garlic butter in there because it should have helped to spread it out. Surely it did. And you know what I'm going to do right here? I'm going to go in with a little bit more of meat sauce. I'm going to spread some meat sauce. And then I'll put the cheese on last. How about that? So, Because this is going to be the top. We're at the top layer now. we got to have that top layer. got to be on point, y'all. Yeah, that top layer. Now, see, on the Food Network, I probably couldn't have gotten away with doing this. Y'all know that, right? It had to be just like the recipe said but that's okay we got this so that means that 32 ounces because I've never tried this recipe before by the way but that's okay that's okay I think this is going to be a okay okay so we're going to put the cheese is going to be the last thing on top there um and of course, we, before we put this in the oven, I'm going to cover it uh, because I don't want that cheese to, uh, not cheese will do it sometimes when it's cooking. It'll harden up. I don't, I don't like that hard cheese. I like my cheese where I can eat it and I, I don't want it hard or stringy. So, this is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. I would suggest, because it seems like my, my uh, ricotta cheese is running short. I, I would have gotten, oh, you know what? I used some of that ricotta cheese. For, what did I use some of it for? I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm looking right at it. I probably used a half a cup. That's what's going on. So 32 ounces, forget what I said. That is enough. I had used some of it to do something the other day. Girl, get it together. Because I was sitting there the whole time thinking, that cheese looked like somebody took some of it out. We just want to fill in all these places here. Okay, now we're going to just top it off again with some cheese and let it rip. And of course, I'm going to sit these in pans in case because I'm thinking it's going to boil over. I really think it's going to boil over because this pan is low dead. You see all that cheese I see you got left? I'm going to even try to turn those outer pans up. So this is lasagna. When you see it again, people, I'll take it out of the oven. And about an hour from now, you'll be able to see it. Okay. Alrighty then. That first pan is ready. Okay. The pan, that pan is ready. And remember to turn these sides up. If you, you, if you stuff your pan like I did, if you don't stuff your pan, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. okay, so that first pan 
is ready. Okay, and I still got that half a pan of cheese left over there uh, to put on the next one. So I'm just going to sit this one to the side because I'm going to start them both in the oven uh, on 375 for 45 minutes, okay? So number one is ready, and the next time y'all see it, it'll be out of the oven. So thanks for tuning in. Be right back. Okay, as y'all can see, the lasagnas are in the oven. I had to put them on separate shelves because I had to put these pans on them. I didn't have pans small enough. I don't. I know they're gonna bubble over, so they're gonna put. I'm gonna put about 50 minutes on them and let them bake at 375, y'all. So they're on their way. Okay, y'all. There it is. The lasagna is out, beautifully baked. I'm gonna let it cool, and when it cools down, it's gonna go in the fridge later on tonight, and we'll just pop it back in the oven to heat it through tomorrow when we get ready to eat. I'm going to cover it and let it sort of stay nice and moist. So that's why I wanted to make sure I had enough sauce and everything in there to keep it nice and moist so it doesn't dry out. So that's Peggy's baked lasagna. Hope you tuned in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this right now and I'm going to be moving on now to my gumbo because we're having gumbo on the menu as well tomorrow and some um, foodie ninja lemon pepper wings okay so we're done with the lasagna thank y'all for tuning in and remember to keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down so that we can uh, make sure that we stay on top of praying without ceasing for our family for our friends and for ourselves kylie is with me yes y'all just gotta see her turn around come right here and say hey to the camera come, hey. stay, come right there so you can say hey Say hello, everybody. Hello. Say, say, can you say Merry Christmas to everybody? Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Isn't she just precious? She's not even three yet. Anyway, she just got that little hair braided up. She's the cutest little bug. Okay, so back to the lasagna. Uh, she's hanging out with me tonight. She asked to come back over, so she's my little hangout partner I need to tonight. Go pee again. Okay, we'll be with you in just a second. Can I get through filming this and then we'll go, okay? All right. You know, we have to pay attention to our babies. We can't ignore them. Never, ever, ever. I don't care how old they get or how young they are. So, that's the lasagna. We'll be having it on the flavor train tomorrow for Christmas dinner. Love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Get in that kitchen and get that Christmas dinner done. I still got gifts to wrap, y'all. So, uh, y'all pray for me because I got a whole lot of stuff to wrap tonight. I might show y'all what I got. Uh, when I get started. So until I uh, started cooking, start cooking rather the uh, gumbo, I'm going to say toodaloo, love you, keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down.